Hello and welcome to lesson number 12.2. We will talk about dealing with WMS services today. And as part of this lesson, I've created this, not created, I've just uploaded or loaded the um, sample data called world.qgs in QGIS. And this is the project we will publish on the web. And by saying so, we are quite limited in how to deal with WMS services in QG, QGIS. So when we consume it, we can add it. And of course, if we have it there, we can alter the opacity of the layer and stuff like that. So we can alter and play around with the information, but the image itself will be the same. So but what, what I'm talking about, so when we are looking on the server side, so I'm now here on the server, I still have these files part of the project so they are somehow part in my uh, in the world project let's have a look what is there so just changing the um, the rights let's have a look into the folder so there is a natural earth sqlite database uh, two projects world qgs and world 3 qgs but if you store the old qgs2 project with a new QGS 3.10 version, it will be everything fine. Then we have a template which consists of a print folder template. There's a QPT file in there and there are some icons that should be consumed in the printing um, process. But once again, so we don't deal with layers here from a static file, but from an SQL light data set. Okay, so let's have a look in the world dot um, QGS nano world dot QGS. Let's have a look at what is in there. So we can see that there are some layer trees here for for right. So we have countries, country shapers, places, and airports, as well as we have it here in the world QGS project, which is still on QGIS, right? So, and we uh, see that the airports layer is grayed out a little bit as well as places layer. So I can put it on, but this means that they are somehow restricted in the view, especially here, the airports, let's have a look on the uh, rendering. So there's a minimum exclusive and a maximum exclusive value. So we have a scale dependent rendering. The same it does not apply to uh, places. I think they were grayed out but due to the fact that I've unswitched them, yeah. So let's uh, switch them on again. And also, this is a project we or I have copied over to the server. And um, we need to just close this again, recreate the rights to access it via WW data. You might have seen that I'm not the uh, coolest server person out here. So I don't really care at the moment about the rights and usage rights of the services and the files. So I just. Um, um, do it as I like. So I'm now recursive changing the rights and let's have a look on the QGS service itself. So this is the uh, IP address of my virtual box machine, MapServe FCGI, service WMS version and so on. And this is the path to the map itself. So we see that there are some layers here, some other information and I could use this link now in my QGIS project and uh, create a new connection, new world, add the URL, no other, info, I will not use other information, just go on, okay, enhance this new world and let's add the, oh no, we will do it with a new project just to see the differences. And let's all let's add all the layers. So now I have the airports, the countries, the countries shapers and the places. So let's create the places up front. Take some time. So it's still working. We can have a look here on the on the uh, network activity. And there is a layer, right? So I have everything in place and this render, uh, the server in the backend renders the images. 
But what about if I would like to embed it to my own web page and how can I deal with the, or how can I adjust the layer rendering process from outside? So because I, there, there's just a request, get capabilities and the map engine, right? But what, what can I alter it to get better images? So from, um, let's have a look here on the first example. We would like to see, we would like to make a, not a get, cap, get capabilities request, but a get map request. We offer a B-box and the PSG code and so on with a width and a height value um, of the image we would like to see. And layers should be only countries, right? So let's add this here. I've just prepared it. So let's remove this one. And this is now the image that I could use, right? So right click, copy or um, save the, save the, um, save the image. And this is a JPEG image. Just, just save it. Open up the Explorer or Finder. And there it is. So this can be then embedded into a static page or whatsoever. So you don't really need to deal around with, with leave it open layers or, or QGIS web client. If you have a static page and you just would like to show your offices around the world, that's a way, right? Um, the easiest way. Um, now let's have a look on another request. So I'm just copying paste what is happening here. We ha still have the width and the height. We are using image JPEG and we are just using different layers here, countries and countries shapers and classified by name in blue. What about this layers, right? So let's have a look here. Countries is now the layers. Let's change this to places without taking into account all the other parameters. So these are now, this is now the layer places. I can also say I would like to have places and then countries. What's happening now is it switches the layer ordering. So once again, go here and say not for, not render places first, render, for, uh, render countries first, and then render places. Once again, there we are. So now we have the points on the map itself. Um, so in this part here, we will add an opacity. And we will simply just show two, two, two countries here, Germany and Italy. Let's have a look here. The can, there's a filter option. We are saying filters should be on countries and the name should be in Germany and Italy. If you just say Germany, Italy, Spain. We will add Spain to the image. Oh, something was wrong. What's what's happening here? Maybe a blank. There it is. Now I have Spain as well on the on the JPEG image. So that's a great way to interact with the with the uh, with the different parameters of a WMS. Now you might might ask yourself, what are the parameters? So the open layer, uh, the GeoServer reference has quite a good overview of all the um, of all the parameters that you can send to a WMS, and you will get information back from it. And then there are some other um, other additional options um, that are part of the QGIS server implementation of this WMS. So this is now running or adding a label to the map that is called redlining. And let's have a look here how this works. So I'll just copy paste everything after my source, so after the root. Now this is adding or this is highlighting the Romania and France and is adding the label QGIS tutorial. So I can easily 
say whatever I would like to say here. Labeling string, my awesome label. Just copy this. And here we are, my awesome label. Label is now not fitting anymore because what's happening here? Well, the label might have some um, stroke with uh, some width parameter. I would suppose to have it in the polygon definition here. As we are saying, one, two, three, four, five. These are five, uh, five values. Let's go with six hundred. This was five ninety. So we are up e further to the west. So you can you could play around with this, but this is not at the current set of this video. But what else can we do? So with QGIS uh, server, you can also get a printing service. So that's not pointing or printing out um, a JPEG for you, but is running a real printing job that gives you a format called PDF. And alongside with that printing, you will add additional arguments to the map. So in this case, this is now taken from, from the official example files. There should be some SVG um, items over here and here that they are, they are not found. So if you are if you are watching closely to the QGIS file, to the template file and so on, always make sure that the paths are correct and relatively to each other and that the um that the access is granted to that file to ww data so that the apache user can access the uh the file itself so now this is a map design that is part of the qpt file here in the exercise data let's have a look exercise data um qq server tutorial template so this is the um this is now the um definition so you can see that there's uh, some some naming according to the file so distribution of population uh, is somehow somehow part of the of the of the map and you have a definition of the icons let's have a look here file equals so there's a file definition but unfortunately this works not right now on my QGIS server. So there's something tricky about it. So uh, please make sure to check everything and also to to, um, to write the, your questions on gist.stackexchange.com so you might get an answer on what's happening here, right? So, um, but as I would like to say, there is a printing job. You can print out PDFs with a proper link and you can also embed this link, of course, to your Leaflet implementation or OpenLace implementation or wherever you would like to have it. Talking about Leaflet, let's add this Q, uh, WMS service to a Leaflet map, right? So there's, um, I've already prepared a map here. Let's go through this. This is just taking from the official Leaflet documentation, Leaflet or WMS example. So we are grabbing the Leaflet CSS as well as the Leaflet JavaScript source from the web um, from a repository then we create a map that has height one or the document itself has height 100 percent the map is a static map with a defined defined size so it's not the full full um width template then we create an id or a div element called map and we will say well create the map the the leaflet based web map and add a, add a WMS layer here. The WMS layer is coming from this um, source. So remember, this is just the URL we were seeing in the example here. So this is exactly the same URL. And I would like to have layers, countries, as well as places, right? And we should add this to the map. So let's have a look how this works out.
this license readme leaflet wms.html. Let's open this up. And this works just fine. Right. So we can go to the different layers. And if we say, well, oh, I'm just interested in the countries, right? Just go with countries. You can even remove the brackets then. And it will still work and show you the countries and the labels are not defined in the leaflet definition of the of the um, of the whole map, but they are defined in the WMS service when the labels should be drawn. Let's have a look on the QGIS project for this. So open up the last project, project, open recent, uh, wilt, QGIS, don't save. And um, let's have a look here on the labels. Rendering the labels are defined as scale dependent. So if I'm zooming out too much, then the labels will not be drawn. Check this here. So yeah, we are far beyond the scale. And once I'm zooming in, then the labels will occur again and will be drawn. So this is the example and how we can deal with um, WMS in QGIS. As that, it's quite limited, so we cannot even add, or I think we cannot add here other uh, parameters to the uh, to the whole set. But if you have found a way on how to pass on additional parameters to the layers coming from a WMS service, just drop me a line. If you have any questions or um, there's things not clear to you, drop me a line as well. Otherwise. Subscribe, take care, and goodbye.